I might be reading this the wrong way. That felt like the universe saying, get the fuck out of here, dude. And I don't know if that is how he took it or not, but the fodder around his future is very loud right now. In the market, if he was to go to the market. Now, he said, I need to address if I want to do this any longer. What do you mean by that? Did he talk about, is that with the Packers? Is that retired as a whole? I mean, there's a lot of questions that are going to have to get answered from Aaron Rodgers. He's probably going to win back-to-back -back MVPs here, even though they had an early exit. That whole conversation is going to get loud, and that market is going to be a hot one if he is going elsewhere. There's going to be a lot of teams that are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's immunized. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not good. Also, can we get you on our fucking team? Can we get this immunized guy on our squad? I don't know how this is all going to go, AJ. You know him more than any of us, and obviously you're in an interesting uh, predicament yet again because you probably know more than everybody, and you probably don't know what you can say and what you can't say. But that whole situation with Aaron is going to be one that, do we think it's going to happen quickly? He's been alluding to the fact that he'll know early. What do you think whenever you think about said, Aaron's future? He told the media before, obviously before free agency, he's going to make a decision. So when is that? March what? 16th. Okay, so we still got a little bit of time, don't we? we got a couple yeah, months here. Yeah. We get to mull this over. I but he said I don't he know. didn't want it to linger, right? Didn't he also say yeah. he didn't want this thing to linger around? Yeah, but what does that mean? He's not going to make a decision within the next five days. You know that. Okay, so there's Is a, he? There's he's a piece of yeah. I don't know. You tell it. Put on the ticker, though. A.J. Yeah. Hawk says yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Will, okay, I'll, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't think he will retire, say he's coming back to Green Bay, or say he's leaving Green Bay in the next five days. Okay, how okay. about six? There Can we go. get six, maybe six? seven? Maybe seven, a week. Seven, maybe a week? A week or? I'm not playing that game, but yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever I want. So 10 days? Is 10 days also in the same world? I, 10 days would count. I, I'd say I'm saying before. Why would we expect it before free agency? Okay. There's we're going to have insider right. analyst. AJ, yeah, we, we do have to analyze the insiderness of AJ Hawk here. But AJ just said he doesn't expect to hear anything until free agency, which is March 16th. I didn't so, say that. No, I didn't. No, I just said not in the short said. term. In the short term, I don't. I think he'd probably wait. He till, said before yeah. free agency. Yeah. Wait to see what Brady does. AJ, maybe, please too. be specific. Can you? You're the yeah. fucking guy. Can I'm not. I'm being. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking, like in real time. Okay, let's. I don't think Aaron knows. I. I would imagine Aaron does not know what he's doing right now. AJ Hawk also Boom. said that. Yeah. 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 But I'd don't imagine. you think? Hey, yep. the way he lost, the way they lost, and everything comes to a sudden halt. Either he's saying, "Get me out of here," or he's saying, "I don't want my Packers career to end like this. I'm coming back." So that's a fascinating thing because Tom's Patriot career ended terribly. Yep. Uh, others have ended in a poor fashion. Is that a writing on the wall? Or is it, hey, I don't want to do it? Either way you go, you can see the reasoning behind the decision. I guess we'll chat with him here hopefully tomorrow. And I'll do my best journalism. I'll do yeah. my best journalism. You know, I'll ask him about some stuff. But I also don't like it. You know, people are sitting on Throw Rogan. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Karen Rogers oh, just came back I, hey. yesterday. I mean, they were sitting. They were sitting. They were I just... mean, are you surprised? Are you Are you surprised? Well, after the interview with ESPN, I assumed <laughs> that was only going to get heightened. You yeah. know, some of the things yeah, he said. Yeah, came out of nowhere. Huh? I, I took a screenshot. Yeah, on Friday, I think that all got dropped. I took a screenshot and sent some to AJ. You know, I'm like, he went directly after the president of the United States. Do you know that? <laughs> this is... Uh, this is a wild, this is, hey, people are going to be loud about that. And they were. And then if you lose, they're all just going to be even more and sitting on it. His haters got very loud. But I will say, I don't think he has a lot of haters in general manager positions around the NFL on whether or not they can get him in the building. Oh, and to Roger's credit, John Stockton came out and said, you know what, Aaron, I'm with you, brother. Yeah. I, this this vaccine <laughs> is bullshit, and you know, so he got the greatest point That's guard in NBA John history. Stockton. That's quoting John Stockton. I'm vaccinated. That's quoting John Stockton. I'm vaccinated as well. I'm yes, yeah. right I'm here. Vaccinated as well. Right here. I got. I got. Just like okay. everybody knows, in this program, we don't want to be the misinformation no. brigade. No, well, according to I, John Stockton, you guys' days are yeah. numbered, though. Holy well, I'm shit. not a professional athlete anymore. <laughs> Correct. True. Oh, there you go. I Sorry. didn't know there were so many sports analysts who were also doctors either. Well, that's what they say <laughs> about Throw Rogan. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. The Colts are fucking back next year. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. The Colts are. And guess who's going to be quarterback? Oh. Aaron fucking Rodgers. Oh. Oh. Really? There are so many teams Ooh. saying that right now, by the way. Yep. There are so many. Hey, Denver Broncos fans are right now. That defense, we oh. lost Von Miller. We were still able to play mm -hmm. with the offensive weapons we have. Next year, it's our fucking division, even though Patrick Mahomes is in there. You know who's going to be our quarterback? 
Aaron, Aaron fucking, fucking Rodgers. Then you hear the people in Pittsburgh. Oh. We made the fucking playoffs with Ben Roethlisberger not being able to throw the ball four yards down the goddamn field. Uh-huh. We're on two broken legs basically out there. We're not old two sprains, but this team was nothing like what it used to be. There's a little salary cap. The offensive line's a little mixed bag because, yeah, yeah. you know, a couple of retirements. Next year, though, TJ was. Why? And our quarterback, guess who it's going to be? Who? Aaron, Aaron fucking, fucking Rodgers. Wow. Wisconsin Please. connection with the Watts. What? 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 And him and Tom were flirting on the field already, and he oh. drops uh, oh. Pittsburgh comment every single time he comes. He over. Loves well, he's talking to Pittsburgh loves people. Uh-huh. So, no, I mean, yeah. he's talking through us to the Roonies. Well, then how? What if you're the Cleveland Browns? Boom. What if you're the Cleveland Browns? And no offense to Baker. Okay, we don't know what's going to happen with Baker. No offense, to him. but the Cleveland Browns could be like our team. Are you kidding me? Our team is absolutely stacked. Imagine if we had a quarterback named Aaron Fucking Rodgers, and then you go to Carolina. Carolina's like, we're moving on from every fucking quarterback Mm -hmm. that we need. We don't care about who we're paying, how we're paying them. We just brought in McAdoo. We'll get rid of him if we want to. (laughs) You know who's going to be our quarterback? Aaron fucking Rodgers. There's going to be a lot of people that do that. And the Packers are like, man, we cannot lose Aaron fucking Rodgers. There's going to be a lot of Aaron fucking Rodgers talking. There's only one person that knows any of the information. What about down in New Orleans? Because Sean Payton's on the fence. And and they get Aaron and Sean him and... Except for they are seventy negative, million. yeah, negative yeah. seventy million dollars. Mm-hmm. Negative seventy-one million dollars, I believe, is what the Saints are next year for the cap. And people are saying Sean Payton's coming out saying, "I don't know what my future looks like." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what my future looks. No <laughs> shit, you're negative seventy-one million. You're gonna have to make some changes. And this comes after last off season when they cut like ten dudes out of nowhere and had to completely rebuild. Now Sean Payton doesn't know what the future looks like. But you're right, Saints fans are thinking maybe we get. Aaron Rodgers. Packers fans just have to be sitting back wondering what the hell is going to go on. Yeah, here we go. Packers have negative $38 million next year. Dude, Aaron Rodgers went on to say, Aaron Rodgers went on to say, I ain't about a rebuild, which is what, if you have to save and cut $38 million, yeah. there's probably some positions that are going to have to get turned over, and those are high-priced positions. You just got to hope you have the replacement already in the building. The Cowboys, negative $21 million going into the highest cap in the history of the NFL uh-huh. at $205 million. This is is the potential long-term effects of dealing with contracts down the road. Vikings negative 12 million, Giants negative 5 million somehow. They <laughs> they're awesome. You know what I mean? Dolphins have 67 and a half million dollars down in Miami. No state income tax. Can attract stars. I'm sure Devonte would love that place. What oh. if the Dolphins get Aaron fucking Rodgers? Then the Chargers have 62 million in the future set. The Jags have a lot of money even though they're going through a rebuild. The Bengals who are un That's- Still in this goddamn thing. (laughs) Have $60 million. Would have never expected that team to have money left in the salary cap <laughs> ever would have never never expected that yeah, it's crazy. even though they did pay some people I get it but I would have never expected them to be top four but they can still make some incredibly huge plays in the Jets who will never really understand or know about they have 47 million so it's quite a quite a drastic future in a lot of different places in the Saints and these other you know like who's going to coach next year they're fucked almost tell you what those Broncos and those Colts are right at there at six and seven they're not on there but they both have 40 million in cap space oh Oh yeah, oh. top ten I think all has pretty oh. good money there. Mm. In the, but the Seattle, the Steelers. Where are the Niners at? What are you pushing Aaron to the Niners? I'm not pushing Aaron to the Niners. I'm not pushing Aaron to the Niners. I mean, the 11, Niners 11. basically, you know, sold the future of their <laughs> franchise for Trey Lance. They're, he's not even going to play this year. He's like goddamn Bitcoin right now, Pat. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. His stock is dropping every single day. <laughs>